Sai, this is the next part of our CHAM computation with Sai. Perfect Learning TV In geometry, the word cone refers to a pyramid-like structure with a circle-shaped base. So the base is a circle. So it's like a pyramid, but in pyramid, uh, in pyramid is polygons. But now, in cone, this is a circle base, a circle-shaped base. It is a three-dimensional figure and has a circular base, has tapers to a point vertex apex of on the top and the shortest distance between the vertex and the base is called the height and the distance from the vertex to a point on the base is the slant height okay so these are the parts so we have the vertex at the tip of the figure the lateral surface okay so we have the base okay? the base is the circle the axis is from the vertex to the uh, from the vertex to the middle of the base okay so those are uh, those is uh, these are the axis and the slant height is from the base to the base edge okay so the edge of the base so the lateral and surface area so to solve for the lateral area we have uh, the lateral area of a right circular cone having a slant height L and the base circumference. So the circumference, as I told you before, is uh, can be computed as 2 pi r, where r is the radius of the base, is one half the product of the circumference and the slant height. So in symbol, we have one half CL. So to elaborate more, we have one half the circumference, 2 pi r, multiplied by L. And let us simplify the formula. So the lateral area will be pi r l. So for the total area, okay, total area of a right circular cone is the sum of the lateral area and the area of the base. So we have the lateral area plus the base. So we have pi r l plus the area of a base is pi r square. So, to simplify, we have pi r quantity L plus r. So, let us um, go with the volume of a cone. So, for the volume to compute, we have a cone is one-third the product of the base, the area of the base, and the height. Okay? So, we have one-third base times height. And to elaborate more, Okay, using the base, uh, the formula of the base as pi r square, we have one third pi r square times h. So that is the area and volume of a cone. So let us apply. Okay, the formula of the area and the volume of a cone in the given figure here. So we have the given radius of 5 cm and the slant height of 10 cm. So to find the area, we have the pi r quantity L plus r. Substitute the value given. We have pi multiplied by 5 cm multiplied by the quantity 10 cm plus 5 cm. So a total of 75 pi square centimeter. So as, as I told you before, we use the region. Okay. So that's why uh, there is a pi there. Okay. We did that. Uh, we didn't use the value of pi as 3.14. So for the volume, we have one third pi r square multiplied by height. So again, substituting the values, we have one third pi multiplied by five centimeters square multiplied by ten centimeter. So we have two hundred fifty over three pi cubic centimeter. Okay, so it's okay to use fraction. Okay, so there is nothing wrong using fractions. But if you want to 
uh, use the numerical or use the decimal, okay? You can you can use that also. But there's nothing wrong using the uh, fraction form, okay? So these are the area and volume of a cone. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Perfect Learning TV for more videos and updates.